la semaine prochaine dans Parlons de Lui. So, before I talk about this book that you have in your hands there, I would like to introduce maybe these legends, where they come from, and just, you know, a short introduction. In the beginning, according to, it's a myth, okay, the, the Abeneki, these legends are uh, thousands of years old. So it's, you know, it was, it was a myth. It was a creation myth that gave birth to Gluskabe's legend. And we will see it because in the beginning, there was what the Abenaki called Tabaldak. Mm -hmm. The owner, mind you, it's the owner. Tabaldak was made of pure energy. He had no corporal body. And mm -hmm. this is what we can see in picture one. Mm -hmm. But Tabaldak was born because I don't know if I could should call him he or she or they, you know, I don't want to put a pronoun on him, but um, our ancestors said that it was because there was no sound and no movement. So Tabaldak just existed like that. And because he was born, he gave life to the creators. She Niwash. Often pictured in some tribes, Abenaki tribes, as two entities, one male and one female. And this is where we see picture number two. Mm -hmm. The creator created the universe with the star, the planet, the earth, also all the living creatures on it. And the sound and the movement came to the owner of the universe, Tabaldak, and he was pleased with that. Right. Now, Gluska Belizean come from this one. When the creator finished creating the universe, they have, as you can see in picture two, the dust, the gold dust of the creation on their hand. And on picture three, you will see that they just clean their hand like that. And the dust of leftover fell on the earth. And from this golden dust, raise our hero with the name of Gluskabe, which meant at that time, the one who created himself. But because he created himself, he had no parents. Mm -hmm. And he created himself already as a grown up person. So he had, he was made from the dust of the creation. So, I mean, he had extraordinary magical power. Luskabe could create things. But right in the beginning, you could see that maybe, <laughs> you can see that on picture number four. Mm -hmm. Right at the beginning, he when he got the power in his hand, he make a huge blunder. He used his powers unwisely. Picture number five. So the creator took away from him the power to create. Because in the beginning, he could create things. But in our, all, in our stories, he cannot. This has been taken away from him. Mm -hmm. So Gluskabe was left with some magical power. Like he could become as tall as a mountain or as small as an ant. He was never sick and he would never die. But that's all. And he had to follow the rule that he could only use his magical power to help the people, the Abenaki. Okay.